students we have successfully completed a very first two chapter of chemistry for class 11 that is the basic concept of chemistry and this chapter gives you a very strong basic foundation of a chemistry and next chapter is the structure of an atom so in this chapter we learn about the structure of an atom and how the fundamental particles like electrons neutrons and protons are arranged in that atom so all you learn about the atom in that second chapter in today's class i wish to discuss with you a very important and very beautiful chapter that is the classification of elements and periodicity in properties so this chapter tells us why do we need to classify the elements why do we need to classify the elements and how we arrange the elements in the periodic table so already you know about the periodic table in your earlier classes like a 9th 10th and how they are arranged so in your first year or your 11th class the so thoroughly in detailed way you study about how the classification is takes place and how the elements are arranged in the periodic table and you learn more about the periodicity in elements so see here i wish to ask you a one question if you go to the library then what do you see there how the books are arranged in that library yes that is the right answer the some books are arranged in a one rack like uh, the, uh, they made a one rack separate rack for a chemistry and separate rack for a physics and separate place for mathematics biology geology botany history political science so lot of subjects are there lot of books are there then that lack together books are are arranged neatly in a separate racks so then it is very helpful to you pick pick a one book which book you want there instead of this arrangement they put that lack together that thousand together books all together in a one side then is it easy to pick the book which you want no it's very difficult so like that in a elements also without a classification it is very tough and too difficult to study about the elements individually and it is difficult to study about their compounds individually so we have to necessity about the classification of elements here so see here why do we need to classify the elements already you know that once again i wish to read these points and explain once again In a 1800, only we got a 31 elements, and in a 1865, we got a 63 elements. At present, we got 118 elements. So among these 118 elements, the sum of the elements are recently discovered, and they are man-made. So see, I wish to read the second point with a, such a large number of elements. With such a large number of elements it is very difficult to study individually the chemistry of all these elements and their compounds individually to ease out of this problem or to comes out of this problem so scientists searched for a systematic way to organize their knowledge by classifying the elements so the scientists give the systematic or the logical ideas about the arrangements of these elements this the classification of elements refers to a systematic framework by organizing all elements in a tabular form so they organize the all elements in like this in a tabular form so what they made see here in a such way the elements of similar properties are placed together and the elements with a different properties are placed separately if we have some elements they have a same properties so they made a one group the one group for similar properties and they made another group for different properties so see here once again i wish to read this in such a way that the elements of similar properties are placed together and the elements with a different properties are placed separately so this leads to a chemical periodicity after a certain regular intervals 
how the different scientists give their ideas about the structure of an atom so one by one we got an idea and uh, finally we got the structure of an atom so like that the different scientists make or give their knowledge about the classification of elements at a regular intervals lastly finally we got our periodic table like this hence so what is the meaning of periodic table so periodic table can be defined as the tabular arrangement of elements with the similar properties of group together we wish to say the definition of periodic table like this the periodic table is nothing but the tabular arrangement of an elements with a similar properties are grouped together so how these elements are arranged in a what manner in a what base they arranged our elements in a in our modern periodic table how we got our modern periodic table here also the different scientists are came and give their ideas about the classification of elements in our next class i wish to discuss with you the genesis of classification classification of this elements means the history of the classification of these elements how we got our modern periodic table